I'm feeling surprisingly fabulous. Okay. But I was always feeling fabulous. I just went for my routine mammogram. Yeah. They told me they said, we have found a mass. They called it a mass. You know, that's scary. It's like, what? Like, I've never been sick a day in my life. I, I, I just couldn't believe it. And that's the scariest time yeah. when, when you don't know what you're dealing with. But as soon as I met my doctors at Princess Margaret yeah. Cancer Center, which is the most phenomenal place on the planet, as far as I'm concerned right now, um, I just immediately felt better. It's been a journey filled with silver linings. I have a personal connection to this because Princess Margaret is also where my mother is treated. And you are sharing this very publicly. What made you decide to do that? I'm a public person. My life's always been an open book. It's very important for me to give in that way because I think if I can somehow inspire others to be a little less afraid, the most precious gifts that we can give one another are our own personal stories. Jeannie's been very open about her personal story since her diagnosis back in May, sharing all her highs and lows on social media. I'm not ashamed of the fact that I got this. That happens to a lot of women. You just have to you know, you accept it. And because I am a survivor, and uh, when I say that, because that's in my DNA, because my parents are Holocaust survivors, mm -hmm. there's just no other option than thinking, I am gonna beat this yeah. and I am gonna survive. First of all, with breast cancer, if detected early, is not only treatable, but can be curable. Yeah. So when I hear these stories now from all these beautiful followers on Instagram who are telling me, you know, I'm a 20 year survivor. I, or, you know, my girlfriend got through it, my wife got through it, my aunt, my sister, my kid. It's just so exhilarating to me, but it gives me such hope. Jeannie joins a long list of stars like Katie Couric, Cheryl Crow, and Mindy Kaling, who all urge women to advocate for their own health. How can we encourage more people to be aware of mammograms, getting tested? You know, this is a problem, this whole fear thing. Mm -hmm. A lot of women are afraid. Snap out of it, get over it, just do it. If you're talking to me, you're talking right okay, to so me. Okay, so you've got to never... promise me that yeah, you're gonna go. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do I'm four, I'm turning 49, I've never had a mammogram. <gasps> and yeah, so you've, uh, you're, and all, for all those reasons that you just cited. So, you know what, no. I am, I'm gonna make it happen within four weeks. Please, please, get it going. please, yeah. please, please. Okay, your boob is gonna go into one of those squishy machines, but all these other fabulous ladies have yeah. their boobs going into squishy machines too. And we're gonna get through it, you know, because it's helping us. Like the video? Then hit the button, or better yet, drop us a comment. Then check out our latest videos here. And don't forget to subscribe by hitting the button here for more celebrity interviews and entertainment news.